What a treasure! Scout ship setting sail. I'm extra good at beating up the weak ones! Crash through! Finish! We're gonna be put on ice! Is it hot or is it just down? Ground fire! Easy peasy! Ground fire! Easy peasy! Gotcha. I'll help you! Gotcha. Dragon light! Great king! Third act! Gotcha! 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 Victory is ours! I'll finish this quickly. Is it hot or is it just me? Easy peasy! 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 Hey, is everyone all right? Not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine.
I'm here. Let's do this to- If I'm in this- They were nothing. That wasn't worth the effort.
on guard? They're really not bothering to hide this trap. They probably knew we'd sense it. The question now is just what they're planning to spring on us. Aizen, when and how did Ifri disappear exactly? And how did you two meet in the first place? You know, you ask an awful lot of questions about us. What? I don't mean to pry, really. Perhaps it's a habit I picked up from my work. Drat, it seems I've been digging too hard. No matter. Ifrid vanished about a year ago. <sighs> he agreed to fight a duel against someone and secretly left to meet his opponent. Once we figured out what was happening, we rushed to the scene. But all we found was the aftermath of a fight, and a pendulum. Was Zavid his opponent? Given his choice of weapon and his ability to fight, I'd say it's likely. What I don't get is why Ifrid would end up captured and imprisoned by the Abbey after a fight with a stray Moloch. The Abbey had him prisoner? On their island. Until an exorcist named Melchior took him away, that is. What? Lord Melchior did? The Abbey would have captured Ifrid about a year ago. Surely it must have caused quite a stir. I, I was simply patrolling. I wasn't involved in any such operations. Oh, but I do remember that we suffered a great number of casualties around that time. I never heard why, and when I went to investigate, I found no records of any major deployment. And then I was ordered to cease any such investigation. By Lord Melchior. That's fishy. He wanted to hide something, clearly. And I think I'm starting to get a picture of what it was. And... it involves the Abbey?
Eifried. So, this is Von Eifried. Eisen, it's good to see you again. So you're alive. You could have sent a letter. <laughs> when have you ever written a letter to another man? <laughs> True. Aside from my little brother, not even once. Your brother? Ah, yes. You told me that once. <laughs> Eisen, why? I've got no brother. Enough of your tricks! <laughs> Thanks for luring them out! I owe you one! Zavid. Now come on out, you old coot! Lord Melchior. Breaking through my double illusion. Impressive. I make it a point not to fall for the same tricks twice. I shouldn't have let you get away last time. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> what? Why am I here? Her consciousness has returned, so that is its power. <laughs> he turned her into a demon. What? This can't be happening. <laughs> A chain reaction. Your Reaper's curse is quite the dreadful affliction, isn't it? Don't you run away! Heads up! Wyvern's coming! Why would an exorcist create a demon? Hey, ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Elements of green shell! Run it down! 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 Devour! Take that! Devour! 
Looks like you got caught in your own trap, old man. Oh, are you sure about that? What the? I'll take care of the last one. Just save the wyvern? You folks jump in and kill without a second thought. Is that your creed? Marvelous. Your Siegfried is just the power I've been looking for. What? My work here is done. The hell did you do? Wait, damn you! Follow them! Where the hell did they go? Find them. They can't have gotten far. Damn, you sure got some speedy legs for an old fart. I'm glad to see you're okay, Zavid. It's not me that I'm worried about. Melchior was highly interested in your weapon. And yet he didn't steal it. Surely a legate like him could snatch it if he wanted to. Why bother stealing it? When you can just copy its hidden formula. Some arts can decipher the workings of other arts in a split second. And guess what Melchior's specialty is? As he left, he said, my work here is done. The Abbey must have some use for that unknown art. Who knows what? After all, they brought it here from another continent. <laughs> then we'll find out what they're after and crush it to dust. Let me ask you just one question. Why do you have Siegfried? I'm counting on you, he said. Back when I served the exorcists, they sent me on a mission to capture Eifried. Savid, you were once their slave? Yeah. My mind was under the influence of Inominat's domain. But when Eifried aimed this baby at me, 
One shot was all it took to open my eyes. The fight we had after that was one for the books. <laughs> he might have been a human, but that guy was a beast. Put a song in my soul. But then Melchior had to jump in and spirit Eifried away with one of his damned illusions. That old bastard! Playing tricks with people's minds. But why'd he grab Eifried and not Siegfried when he had the chance? He probably didn't know at the time that this guy was the real prize he was after. But Eifried knew. Right before he was taken, he distracted Melchior long enough to hand Siegfried over to me. <sighs> well, that's all I know. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. Got it. We're done here. Huh? That was easy. Eifried only says I'm counting on you to people he trusts. Is that so? So, what are you gonna do now? Gonna keep looking for Eifried. So gotta give this back and settle our score. I doubt you have much time left to get that done. I'd hazard a guess that until now, Melchior was unaware what Siegfried could really do. In other words, he and the Exorcists weren't able to interrogate anything out of their captive. And now that Eifried's no longer needed, I see no reason for them to keep him alive. <sighs> you think I don't know that? If you really want to save Eifried, you probably ought to team up with us. Nope. No can do. Why not? You lot will do anything to achieve your goals. Even kill. <gasps> Sorry, I'm a fighter, not a killer. I won't steal a single life. That's just my creed. And I've got no intention of changing our pirate creed either. Aizen and Zavid have their own creeds. They both have such strong principles, even though they're so different. Just like humans. Well, that was sure something. Melchior and his illusions are cheats. There's no cheating in combat. What I meant is that they were awfully dirty tricks for an upstanding exorcist. And the illusions seemed so real. Had that gone on any longer, I wouldn't have been able to tell what was real and what was fake. If it can't be distinguished from reality, perhaps one could live a happier life within the illusion. Hmm. That sort of happiness can rot. You think so? But by using illusions, you can defeat an opponent without causing them any physical harm. Oh, how humane. Wow, the Abbey is so great. Lord Melchior is an exemplary man who has served Lord Artorias since before the Abbey's founding. He's done everything from logistical planning, to defense strategy, and even political negotiations. He shows the utmost concern, even for his opponents, so... He turned a friendly Moloch into a dragon. Th that was... Physical wounds can heal. Emotional wounds never fully fade. Yeah, but... Don't lose heart, Eleanor. Foul play is foul play, but you're talking to a demon and a witch. Who can judge? I appreciate that you're trying to console me, but as an exorcist, I cannot accept this. Take a look at this. Scout ship setting sail. <laughs> 